Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make this Fall Guys obstacle course minigame. Now, if you don't know what Yahaha Studio is, it's basically a super easy program that you can download for free and you can use it to make games very quickly. Now, first of all, when you launch the program for the first time, you're going to be greeted with this home page. Uh, this is basically where you can check out other games that people have created. And it's pretty impressive to see what types of games people have managed to create. Now, what we're interested here is at the Create tab right here. And on the Create tab at the top, we're going to see the My Spaces. Spaces are essentially games or 3D worlds that you can create and fully customize. So if you click the New Space, you're going to see a bunch of pre-made templates and worlds to pick from. Uh, one thing that's cool to note is that all the assets that you see inside of the templates are included so you can easily customize anything that you see. Now I'm going to choose this blank template right here and once you click on the template it will go ahead and load up and you can instantly start modifying the world. The controls are pretty simple. We have our WASD to move and navigate through the viewport. Now the first thing I'm going to do here to customize the world is right off the bat I'm going to go ahead and change things like the sky and the lighting. So to do that we can go over to this little explorer in the bottom left and we have sky here at the top. So on the right it will pop open a little material that we can change and we can easily change our sky box if we want to have sort of a sunset or maybe I'm going to go with this continuous cloud and as you can see it adds this nice cloud skybox and it also makes the lighting nice and bright. Now what I want to do is make a Fall Guys obstacle course and we actually need some 3D assets to make this. Now Yahaha Studio already comes with a built-in asset library and to access this we just go to the asset library here at the top and there are over a hundred thousand different free assets that you can download and you can easily download any of these assets from this library and just drag it, drop it into your scene. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't find the 3D model or asset that you need, you can also import your own custom assets. Now, I've got a bunch of 3D assets and 3D models that I've made a while back, and I just want to show you how easy it is to import these into our level. Now, I'm here in Blender, and I'm just going to show you how easy it is to import your 3D asset from Blender into Yahaha Studio. All you have to do is first have your asset here, and for the materials, you can add your own custom material colors. You can also unwrap your 3D asset and add your custom textures. But basically, you want to make sure that you have all the materials set up here in Blender. Then you just go to File, Export, .fbx, and name the 3D model, and just click Export FBX. Now, back in Yahaha Studio, you just click down here at the resource box, and this will pull up all of your models that you've downloaded from the asset library but to import your own custom models you just click up here to space content and then down here you have an import option so all you have to do is click on the import resources button and then navigate on your computer select the fpx file that you exported and click open and now it is done importing the fpx so we just go to our models and just drag and drop it into your scene just like that. Now I have this nice rainbow piece decoration that we'll use for our little obstacle course. You can get to the movement gizmos by pressing two, three, or four for move, rotate, and scale. Now what we're gonna work on now is adding some of the different gameplay elements and rotating objects that will make up our obstacle course. So I'm going to go ahead and import some models. First, I have this wheel model. And basically, all we want it to do is have it spin around continuously. Now, in Yahaha Studio, it's really easy to add that sort of gameplay element. You just select the object and click on the more. And then down here, you can add a component. In our case, we want to choose the rotate component. But as you can see, there's many other different gameplay, built-in gameplay components that you can pick from. So I'll click the rotate. Now in our rotation settings here, we want to change the time down to two. This will change how fast the object rotates. And then under the looping mode, we want to change this to infinite times. So if we hit play, we can go ahead and test this out. Now you can see we're just running through it, so we need to add a collision real quick with the model selected. 
go up to the collision. We're going to add a box collision. Then we can tweak the size so that it lines up with our circle. And now we can go ahead and click play. And when we jump on the spinning circle, our character spins around, making it hard for us to make it through the obstacle course. So we can duplicate this a couple times by Control C, Control V. You can also change the direction to make it counterclockwise. That way we can give it a little bit of variation. All right, so we have these little spinning things. Let's go ahead and add some more different obstacles. Now I have this little model here that I created. And basically this is sort of this little board that we want to rotate around. And it will push the player around if they're standing right here or in the middle. And basically the player has to jump through this little hole to get past this obstacle. Now really quickly we can add our rotate component. Now what we have to do is add some collision as well because the player will just be able to run through this. So let's go ahead and add our box collision and size it appropriately to the model. And once we have that complete, we can go ahead and hit play. And now we have our little object here spinning around. If we run right next to it, you can see it pushes our character. And we can jump through the holes to get past the obstacle. Let's create a few more different obstacles. For this, I've imported two more models. I have this little triangle mesh that basically will set up so that when the player hits it, it will bounce them back. Then over here we have sort of this trampoline that when the player jumps on it will be boosted up. So first let's go ahead and add the logic for this object. We can go ahead and add a component. And we have under the gameplay components a react. And we want to change this from bump to repel. So this will push back our character. And we also want to add a collision. So add a sphere collision and change the radius to one. That way our character can collide with the object. So if we run and jump onto it, you can see that our character gets pushed back, which kind of gives us sort of this bounce effect. Next up, we're gonna set up this trampoline, add another component, the react component, and we're gonna choose this repulse. We also want to add a collision. So add a box and go ahead and scale it up to meet the size of the actual object. Now, when we go ahead and jump onto it, you can see that our character bounces up super high. So now we have all of our basic obstacles. Let's go ahead and assemble the track. Now once we have our obstacle course made here, what we ought to do is, is delete all of these assets, and then take our little respawn point and move this over to our starting position. Now before we go ahead and play this to test it out, if we go in the gameplay here, we can go to our avatar and in our walk we can speed up our walk speed. And in our run we can also speed up our speed to the maximum. That way we're just a lot faster. Now if we play, we can run through our little obstacle course. We can get repelled. We can get, jump through these little obstacles. And we can get past and move on to the next course. So here we have some of these little spinny things. So we jump on this, fell off. And we have these little bouncy pads on the very bottom. That can help us bounce back onto the top to the final level. And of course, if you fall at any point, like say if we were to fall right here, our character would die and then we'd respawn. We can also tweak the respawn timer because obviously 19 seconds is a little bit too long. So if we exit there, we can go to our gameplay and under the general, we can adjust that respawn timer. So let's go ahead and just make this three seconds. Another thing that we want to do is we want to set up the actual game mode for this. So that will be sort of a racing game or you race to the finish. The neat thing is they really have built-in game modes. 
So under the adventure type, we can change this to a racing game mode. And so you can select the destination. In our case, we want this little archway to be the destination. So in our gameplay, we can go ahead and set that to our pillar cone. That way, when our player crosses through that little finish line, uh, they will win the game. So you can set the number of winners here. You could say five players can win the game. And then you can set the pregame timer as well as how long the game will run. So 600 seconds. So if we go ahead and hit play, you're going to see we have this countdown timer. And now we can see at the very top the timer is starting to count down from 10 minutes. And five, zero out of five players have currently crossed the finish line. So you can see we can race to the finish. We have to jump through all the obstacles so that we can become one of the five qualified players. Now once you're finished with your game, the neat thing about Yahaha Studio is that multiplayer is completely built in. So all you have to do is publish your game or your map and you can instantly send an invite to your friends and then your friends can download the map, host the game, and you guys can join. And you don't have to worry about having to manage multiplayer servers or all the networking and all that stuff. So once you're done with your game, you just exit out of here, save your changes, edit things like the image and title of your game. And all you have to do is click on the publish game to make it public so that anyone can download and try it out. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it make sure you leave a like and if you want to check out yahaha studio you can download it the link will be in the description below and as always i'll see you guys in the next video